Okay, so right now I have my building in the middle of my paper. It's a little bit hard to see here, but I have my left vanishing point here. I have my right vanishing point here. Depending on what you want to overlap really determines where your vertical line goes. If you want your building to be behind this building, then your vertical line is going to come up from this building. If you don't want your building to start from behind, but you still want it to overlap, your vertical line then needs to cross over the horizon line next to it somewhere where the side of the building then is going to go behind. So I'll do one of each on each side. So on this side, I'm gonna make the building come from behind completely, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to only do the right side right now and focus here. I'm going to line my ruler up with the bottom of my piece of paper so I get a nice vertical line. Let's go right off of the roof of the building that I already have so it looks something like this. Again, you could do it closer to the edge, closer to the middle, closer to up here. It really doesn't matter where the vertical line goes. If it is behind this building, AKA coming off of the roof, it's automatically overlapping already because the building is behind it. The reason we know that is because if it weren't behind it, you would be able to see this vertical line coming all the way down. And you can't because this building is now in front, okay? Now, the right side of this one is going to be pretty much the same as anything you've already done. So I'm going to come from the top and go to my vanishing point and you just can decide how long you want it to be. So I'll start with about there. Now this is where it can get a little bit confusing because you don't know where the bottom of your building is because it's, it's disappeared. Now you never want to come and bring your line up here and go to the vanishing point because this now doesn't make any sense. You do not want your building line to come down below. You want it to start behind here. So same with the vanishing point line. So honestly, I just kind of pick like a random spot. You don't need to do the dot if you don't want to, but this kind of helps me visualize, okay, this vertical line is coming all the way down and now it needs to go to the vanishing point. So I connect my two dots but I start at the edge of the building, not at the dot. And I go, and I got a little bit off my ruler there, so let's try that again. That I was looking at my screen, so I got a little off. There we go, much better. And then all I need to do is take a vertical line. So again, lining my ruler up to the bottom of my paper and taking a vertical line all the way down to the bottom. And then when you have the time, you can erase the tail. And if you want to, you can go ahead and erase that horizon line as well. Okay, so that's how you would do this side. To do this side, it's a little bit easier because this whole building, unless your building is super long and you're taking this all the way over here, which I wouldn't, this isn't going to have another bottom. So I'm going to start here at the top and I'm going to take it to the left vanishing point and I'm just going to go a little bit of a distance to like here. Again, you get to decide how long it wants to be. And then there is no bottom, right? This building is covering the bottom on the left completely. So you don't need to go to the vanishing point. There's nothing here for you to do because it's being covered. So all you do is make a vertical line and you go all the way down till it connects to the roof of the building. And then it just looks like that. So you don't need to bring this over anywhere. There is nothing for you to do because it's being completely covered by the building. Okay, I'm gonna show you on the left side a little bit of a different way to do it. So if you don't want the building to come right out of the top of this one, you are going to start it off of it. So I'm just gonna make a random line here. And let's do like a nice tall one. Okay, however, it needs to be shorter than the front building because again, it doesn't make sense if your line came all the way out here, then it would be going in front and that doesn't make sense. So your line, your vertical line needs to come back here, okay? Now what you're going to do, let's start with the left side since we're closest to that side. You're just going to do the left side like you normally would do any building. So you're here. Do the length that you want, okay? Do the length that you want. 
and then hit it with a vertical line to finish it up. This is exactly what we've been doing, so I expect that you kind of can understand this part. And then, of course, erase the little tails, and you can take the time later to really nicely erase your horizon line that's inside of the building. So that side's super simple. The other side, you are going to go follow the vanishing point, okay, but you are going to stop before you hit any other buildings. So let's move this over a little. I'm going to take this to the right vanishing point so you can kind of see I'm here and here. I'm going to go, 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 and then I'm going to stop about here because now my vertical line is going to go behind this building. Okay, now you do have a bottom on this side, which we didn't on the other side, so that also needs to go to the building, but it can stop as soon as it hits this wall right here because this is the building that it's going behind, so just stop once you hit here. Okay, so you're gonna take this and take your line and stop once you hit that building. So it looks like this. Erase your horizon line so it makes a little bit more sense. Okay, now the part about this is that there is no line for your vertical line to match up with because if you think about it, your vertical line's coming down and they would match up like right here but this building is in front of that, so you wouldn't see any of that. So you don't need to bring in that line any farther. So we're going to go like this. And all you need to do is take a vertical line down until it hits this building, and then you're good. So we're going to start here. Come down until it hits the building, and then you've got the three overlapping. And you can continue doing this over and over and over again. You could have another building that you want to come out from here. And maybe it goes off your paper, and now all of a sudden you have, I'm just gonna freehand it, all of a sudden, let's say you have another building, you know, behind that building. And you can keep doing that over and over and over again until you have as many buildings as you want.